Hello everybody and this is my second video in my modern art series. Today we're going to be looking at Armored Train by Gino Severini and he painted this in 1915. It depicts a fast moving train with soldiers shooting long, powerful guns. And it's in the style of futurism, which was an Italian modern movement from 1909 to 1914 that glorified machinery, technology, and war, and it emphasized dynamism and new objects and movement in urban life. Some examples of the artists in this movement were Bacchioni and his unique forms of continuity in space, and Giacomo Balla. It was founded by Marinetti, an Italian poet. World War I was raging on in Europe at this time, and in this war, new powerful technology such as cannons, Machine guns and chemical weapons were used to devastating effects. And here is Bala's dynamism of a dog on a leash. And to convey a sense of rapidity, the leash and the dress are very blurred, as well as the dog's legs and the floor to suggest that it's moving really quickly. And here's just an example of chemical warfare and machine guns in World War I. Now for the painting, it has an aerial view, which reflects Severini's Parisian studio that overlooked a train station. And here's a picture of Severini in his studio, and I think beside him are just some figures put together for maybe a still life. I'm not quite sure what it is, but he looks like a really cool artist to know. The fast movement of the train is broken down into flat, broad color planes such as light blue, dark slash light green and red, and also the cubist influence, which shows multiple perspectives at once. The smoke from the guns masks the background, which looks kind of like ridge fields, as you can see in the bottom left and right hand corners. The five shooters are a faceless mask that is just menacing and threatening, especially they're pointed, it looks like hoods and just the dark colors in general. There's very interesting details, such as the rivets on the train and on the cannon, and just very specific. And it almost looks like Francisco Goya's 3rd of May, right here, which shows a wall of unrecognizable oppressors shooting a defiant peasant subject. However, in Severini's painting, no victim is identified. It's just kind of general chaos. And this is one of my favorite paintings by Goya. It's in the Prado Museum. And it, it's very highlighted, the central figure who's being shot almost looks like a crucified Christ while the mass of oppressors just shoot him. Despite the chaos, the colors are still uplifting and the central line composition is going upwards. So it gives a very positive thrust. So despite all of this warfare, the technology will eventually bring us to a better state and more into the future. So. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and watch out for more.